the communion with the blessing. We love the mercy that God you've showed us. Lord, we thank you for calling our name tonight, dear Lord, and setting us at the table to eat of that food that you prepared for your bride. God, we praise you tonight, Lord, for the servants you give us to stand in this hour. Lord, that you'll give us the word like it. You give it to him, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Pray God your blessing tonight. Stand with him. Know him, dear Lord, as he comes forth. Lord, we pray and bless him, Lord. God, we pray that you'll bless each request, Lord, that was seen by a brother hand. Lord, you know all about it. I pray that your will be done on behalf of each one. In Jesus' name. While traveling through this world of
you believe it? I mean, he's happy tonight. If we are. Before I preach, I hope we are after. Did anybody get to listen to all of Jason's program Wednesday night? When I got home, he didn't say much or about me, but I heard he was doing some crying. <laughs> and from some of the scriptures I've seen he put out, he's talking about, I reckon even if he had married a divorced woman and had kids by her, he got rid of her, and all of his sins was nailed to the cross. <laughs> I thought you don't have no scripture, but to clear you on this one. If he married a divorced woman, we read the scripture here and here tomorrow. She is bound to him until death separates them. And he's Men all over this audience. Glory. And the prophet said, all we can do, and ain't you glad to say, God have mercy on you if you do it. <laughs> and it's easy for people to point the finger, you ought not do it, you ought not turn around, check your life. <laughs> if God has mercy on you, how thankful we ought to be. <laughs> But any man, I can't help who they are, that's married to a divorced woman, and that husband's still living, he's got two wives, Amen. he cannot be a deacon, he cannot be a preacher, <laughs> and I don't care if he goes and puts her away. You can't put her away. Bye. The law of the land, they'll give you a divorce. But by God's word, she's still yours. Now that shakes us up when I say these things. But it's so strict, and I stand on it, till that they never had it put on paper. And I know some woman was asked by some boy, and she said yes. They can never be a deacon here. If you married a woman, say, well, they never did go have a little, and that don't make no difference. It's on God's word. And God knows it, so that's how much we stand on. Then, where does that put Jason at? Who gives him license to get in the pulpit? God's word don't give him to it. Who gave him that license? They say they're not a denomination. I'll promise you, every one of them got license. Amen. Wonder where they got it from. They didn't get it from the Baptist. Right. Didn't get it from the Church of God. So undoubtedly, they got a denomination. <laughs> that they get license to preach. And if God's word condemns them, then that's not the church that I read about in the Bible. Amen. What about you? Amen. Now, if you don't believe that prophet came and turned our heart back to the Word, look at the difference when it comes right down to it. Who is standing in the pulpit living in adultery? A man can have 500 and be one wife. See what God revealed to us in this way. But he can have one woman and have four or five wives. I mean, see what I'm saying to you. So the word condemns that 100%. I've heard that 
I don't know if it's true or not, but a man that used to stand right here and preach. Don't believe in polygamy. Say it we don't. I don't know what he believes. That's took a woman out to eat, talked to her, said that now his wife passed away. But the woman that I heard that he talking to and took out to eat and everything is married. Her and her husband's divorced, but she's got a living husband. Now you're going to tell me he believes the word? Say, well, maybe her husband passed away. He still came out. He's a minister. So when we stop and think, and I'm going to read to you right here why people think that God's messengers are crazy. Out of their mind, and they are. But they let the mind, which is in Christ, be in them. Is that what we're all supposed to do? If we do that, if every person here would do that, I never hear no grumbling, no complaining, no arguing, no fussing. We know where that spirit comes from. We read about it in Genesis. Where the killing spirit comes from. The lying spirit comes from. So if that's in you people, say, well, I have never took a gun or a knife and killed anybody. Read the New Testament. You criticize them. Talk about it. What's happened? You'll answer for what? Now, do you believe the word? I don't want to have to answer for these things. I don't want to have to answer for letting up on the word. Amen. So let me, whatever that prophet said, let me say it word for word Amen. and not back up at all. Amen. I watched right bus at the news this week, and I know you've seen what happened in New York with the pipeline that busted, Amen. killed one person, injured way up there. All the fires that are burning thousands of acres right now. And I listened to a program this week talking about young children said, what has got into our teenagers? Said so they just go off. Like they've lost their mind. And they have. Amen. And said, so what kind of world are we living in? I got to thinking about the way I've been preaching. If we don't stop and think how many years young people have been smoking pot, all kind of dope, if you would just stop, think for a little bit, this world cannot stand much longer. These potheads. Some of them are in there. Well, they all age it, but I'm talking about each generation. Amen. These potheads have got together having babies. Amen. That's what's repopulating the earth. It can't stand out of one. Amen. Something's got to give. Amen. There ain't very many on earth. And how pitiful it is now. They get to talking on TV and they're talking about the students here, students there. And when you get talking about them and tell their age, 23, 24, 25 years old. So what do you call a student? A teenager. But now, the way they've got to set up by door room. They shouldn't even get married until they're around 30 years old. You're looking at me. Why is that? Go all the way through high school. And then, this is boys and girls. They go to college. How many years is that? Four? 
45 years of college? How old are you by then? And here comes the killer. Then you got to work at least five or six years and have enough money to get married. <laughs> so the way the world got to set up, they got to be at least 25, 30 years old before they should even talk married. Or you're an outcast. But what did our prophet say? Teach them children. That's hard to do when the whole world sees you different. Right. Teach them children to do what? Marry young. Right. The prophet said, let them grow up with one another. Right. Say so they would never be able to get along. <laughs> if you leave them alone, they would. But when we start, have you ever noticed young boys can work, 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 work? Most, most of them around here, like me, didn't finish school, started working when they were young, and they can work five or six years. As soon as they start making marriage, you got to be crazy. How are you going to do it? How will you ever make it? Where do you think you've been working several years? <laughs> and you're just going to work to support yourself the rest of his life? God didn't put him here for that. Amen. God didn't put girls here to get out and make a living on their own. And there's the killer. Yeah, I just ain't right to it because of it. What are we to teach them to do? To do what? Stay at home and do what? Cook. Please bless that mat. I'm going to swallow him in a minute. I know if he keeps getting closer to me. Cook. Clean. Make the bed. Amen. True. But what do we do? All right. Teach them on doctor. Well, it's okay to go ahead and get a job and work a little while. Bless the Lord. I know I'm burning right now because some of you here have been encouraging me. All right. Bless the Lord. Well, let me ask you something. How many know life preach again? Amen. Well, ain't that going again? Watch me preach here. Amen. You're encouraging that? So well, they ain't much for them to do. I believe every family here that's got daughters could find something around the house for them to do all day long. Amen. You never run out of anything to do. I'll guarantee it. Clean the commodities. Clean the sinks. Keep the dishes clean. Clean the floor. And mom, don't you get lazy to just sit back and cross your arms and watch them. Amen. Help them. Show them what to do. Because if you ain't help them, you can see you sitting there and then all of a sudden they're married and gone again. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> now I got to do all this. Not enough that I have. <laughs> There's plenty to do. If we don't have nothing to do, take the curtain down and clean them. You can find plenty to teach these young girls to do. Listen to me, please. Besides, going out, getting a job, making bills. That's not our responsibility. But it is a boy. And here it is right there. You can't hardly get time to go out and work. They hardly get time to get a job. If we do, they don't want to work half the time. Amen. Well, they don't want to go out half the time. Most of these jobs, now you young kids might well have me. You don't have hard jobs now. I'm looking old all this. John, come in here, is 
When I was his age, Lord have mercy, the work I have to do. And now they're sitting, flipping a hamburger. <laughs> Took somebody a milkshake in an air-conditioned building. We didn't know what our condition was. I mean, you see what I'm trying to tell you. And even the young girls in these days. Well, most of you grown women right here would have died, too. If you'd have went back. And let me just be real good at this. If you had to go back and help carry your water from a spring or a creek, pull it in a wash tub, with an old washboard, you would die. It would kill you. Why? We're not, this day, we're not used to work. One of the hardest jobs around right now, I guess, is in some of these factories around here. Furniture factories. And I know they work in. Mechanic work, that's hard. But most of the young people today, where did it start out at? If they got grease on their hands, it's <laughs> I'm preaching the truth, you? But if you make a living doing that and God's blessed you, you do that. I'm not telling you or you're wrong. But let's quit complaining. And every, well, not everybody, but most of the people you see, constantly complain about what you make. Bless the Lord. What did the Word tell us? If you ain't making what you think you ought to, complain about it. Is that what it said? Be what? Be content with what you got. What you make. Say, well, if I keep my mouth shut, then nobody won't ever get it. I don't care what you say. This will work. Right. And you do what he said instead of just hounding people constantly. Right. Just do what God's word says. I promise you, he'll make it work. Yeah. But we, I listened to, I can't remember if it was last night. No, it was today. The Catholic Channel. And it was asking one of these high ups in the Catholic Church questions, and he'd answer them. And all the questions they was answering about, one woman said, What should I do when I talk to Protestants and Christians that are not Catholic? And they say, Well, we take communion too. He said, but they don't take it right. And he said, let me take time and explain. Now, when you hear this, I heard the prophet say it, that they was, that was their belief, and this is the first time I have ever heard one of them say it, which I know it is true. Because when the prophet said it, then it's true. But that man said, I don't care what they can find in the scripture. Said you do not put this scripture over top of the church. You listen to what the church says over top of what the Bible says. And thousands of people that are clapping their hands and jumping up like that is right, that's right. I thought you hypocrite. <laughs> Remember the, I believe it was a, a priest, the prophet was talking to. And he said, God's in the church. The Bible said, God's in his word. And they say, and I have thought about this this week. You remember when the last Pope passed away? Benny Hinn? All these big evangelists went back 
If they didn't go, they was talking about how beautiful it was, and me and him was talking about, oh, I felt the presence of God in that place so strong. Then the Pope comes out in the last few weeks and says, ain't nothing to none of you if you're not Catholic. Same thing he feels in any people. Think about that. I mean, read the article. Brother Dale running off for me, off, off of the computer. I've heard other people talking about watching it in the news. And he blasted every one of them. Said there's nothing to the Protestants. The Catholic Church is the only real true church they are. And the only way you'll ever make it is to be in that. Think about it. And here's all these preachers, Jack Van Hampton, talking about, oh, the Catholic Church, how pressure. I'm kind of anxious to hear him now. Man, yep. The Pope just told him where he was at. Right. So what's that going to stop? Read the paper. Listen to him. The Protestants are having a bit of them. What about the real believers? They couldn't care less. Right. They the one true bride. On the earth, I believe I'm part of that right. And if you're in the world, you're a part of it. And ain't you glad you never had to come and join it? You're born into this one. Thank you, Lord. And the only thing right now that's going on is a roll call. Amen. When is all these things going to happen, Brother Elwood? When I look around, I know now. All you got to do is watch. It's right in front of me. I don't know what you believe. I know what I believe. Amen. I know what I'm holding on to. And Satan come up and say, well, look at all this out here. Look, in other words, look what I've got set up. How do you think this is going to be done away with? Because God said it's going to be done away with. I ride around sometimes trying to picture how it's going to be when all the buildings are gone. All sin is gone. All fear joints are gone. Yeah. Yeah. People be none of that trash when we get over that. And as I said the other night, people said, I can't quit this happy, quit that. You better quit them. Yeah. Because before long, all we're going to do is change our dwelling place. Yeah. We already have a name written on us that the world knows nothing about. Yeah. So teach, please. These children, and I know people out in the world won't hate you. They hate me because I preach like I do. They can't take what I say and repeat it. They want to make it like the one call. Yeah, he preached down there one night and said, and this ain't up to a lie out of hell. I don't know where it come from. He said he preached people down there one night and said, if you see a nine or ten year old girl come through there, how was it you better claim her or something other or go after her? Now, I don't know where this trash is coming from, but they'll have to answer for it. Now, I can read and see this book that I've got right here. If I could find that real quick, I don't know if it's back this way or maybe over here. But there are going to be some. Now, listen to this. To further clarify specifically the words of Matthew 25, 31 through 30, 46, it does not say that a shepherd is literally separated sheep from goats, but it is as a shepherd divided from the goats. These are not sheep in this particular area of time, the white throne judgment. The sheep are in his fold. They heard his voice, the word. They followed him. They already had eternal life. Amen. I'm talking about this. Amen. But they you I just read about. Amen. Already have eternal life and cannot come into the judgment. I don't know if you ever stop to think about that. But if you're God and he chose you, you will never be judged for anything you've done. He took care of all your 
find it. He suffered so you wouldn't have to. You still didn't do it. If you got one out of stage, you couldn't be at home right now. You can never be judged. If you're the bride, the bride is never judged. Never. Somebody knows I couldn't do it. He knows I was full of mistakes. He knows I could not make it. So he made it for you, Lord God. He made it for you. Do you realize how horrible that is to say, I can never be judged for anything I've done. Get behind me, devil. That's a powerful man. So you mean we'll never pay for anything? Oh, you're going to pay for what you do. And listen, the Bible says you're not going over there to pay for anything you've done. Right. You're going to pay in this body right here before you get that. Right. So don't keep doing things that you're going to have to pay for. But even if you do wrong, you can't be lost. Right. You cannot come unto the judge. Right. But what I'm trying to get to here now, They are, but I don't want to miss nothing. They already have eternal life and cannot come into the judgment. But these do not have eternal life. They are in the judgment. They are allowed to go into eternal life, but upon what grounds do they enter in? Certainly not upon the fact that they already have his life and does as does the bride, but they receive it. Because they were kind to his brother. Because they were good to the bride. Did you get that? They are not his brother. That would make them join heirs with us. They are not heirs to anything but life. They share no throne with him. Their name must have been in the book of life and not removed, now because of the love of the people of God, they are recognized and saved. <laughs> there are some people out there that absolutely are good to the world. But woe be not to them that criticize them, talk about them, pray about them. And that's why that prophet said, you be good to everybody. You don't know it might be that little bride that you're mistreating. Right. Say, but I know they've done this. Get that trash out of your head. Every one of you has made a mistake. Every one of you has full of mistakes. Amen. Every back that's got children that you're raising, when they become of age, they're going to make mistakes. Amen. That's right. So don't teach your children. Yeah, that's why. Right. Act like they're better than anybody else. Amen. 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 Don't teach them to stand off in a corner somewhere and stare at people because they don't have as much as you do. Amen. There's no big eyes in little humans, even though some of us want to think they are. There's no big eyes in little humans in the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Let me read a little more. Now, here's the one I just read to you about the ones that are good. Now, here's the ones that are not good. They are blotted out because they failed to know the people of God who were the living, manifested word for their day. Shouldn't every one of us have that kind of a feeling? <laughs> if they can get in, because I'm not talking about people who criticize you and make remarks. I'm talking about people that are good to and if they can get that kind of a reward for being good to you, how should you be towards everybody? Amen. If you're his bride, you can never be judged. 
Who done that for you? Who stopped all that? Who took all your sins and put them so far away you don't even know you done? I hope you listen to me. And if he's done that, he won't. Where's the want to in us? God, I want to do everything I can do. I can never repay you. I can't even start to repay you. I was talking to some people last night. I said, I see sickness all over the audience here. And sometime, and just come on me this week, God will fall back. God don't put sickness on you. God did not take everything Job had. That's right. God said, I'll move my hand. I'll turn it over to you for a little while. So I don't know why God would do that. Well, let me tell you why. Because he can live for God, he stood for God, no matter what happened. He was a rich man. Had anything he wanted. And the devil said, that's why he served you. But if you let me have a little while, he won't serve you. He won't keep on loving you. God had so much confidence in that man. Till he told the devil, I'm going to let you have it. The man had done nothing wrong to deserve this. But God said, I'm going to let you have it and just show you. If he don't have nothing, right. he'll still serve me. Yeah. Right. Listen, people, think you can hold your head up high. Quit this time and up. Maybe God just proves it to the devil. I got somebody to pull the shoulder back. Hold your head up high. It don't matter what you hit him with. Yeah. Oh, I feel something in here right now. Right. He lost his family. Yeah. That would have done it for most of us. Amen. Didn't stop that, brother. Right. Lost his home. Yeah. His car. His land. See, here he is sitting with bowls all over. Amen. Scratching. That's true. And look what his wife said. What was her words? Why don't you just curse God and die? Yeah. I don't care if he took my children, my land, my house, Lord. my livestock. I don't care what he does. Don't die. Slay me. I'm going to trust him in yeah. Now a lot of people say it. He called her a woman's woman. No, he didn't. He said, you talk like one. Amen. He claimed you was. You talk like a foolish woman. Amen. I know who my creator. Amen. I know who my God is. Amen. I don't care if he takes everything I got. I'm still holding my head up high. And let the devil know. Why, well, Satan wants you down and out. He wants to defeat you. Amen. Pull your children back. Put them in his place. Amen. We don't have to put up with it. Amen. It wasn't took but one thing for most of us. That's true. How was it he lost his children? Well, uh, I don't want to say it wrong, but the house got tore up. Is that right? And the children were killed in it. That was done for most of us, right? That's the truth. The first thing we started on questioning God. Why is he doing this for me? Amen. Don't ever question God. Amen. Don't ever. Somebody get this answer right here. Amen. What does the devil want you to do? Start backing up. Amen. That's true. And if he ain't careful, he needs to make you believe it on God. That's the truth. Job didn't blame it on nobody. What did God do? He had so much confidence. I wonder how many of us he could put that confidence in. Think about it. Had so much 
confidence in him. Satan, he's yours now. Do what you want to with it. Don't take the life. Amen. That's one thing you will not do. And he took everything that man had. And all he done was still praise God. Amen. Still stand for God. Would not turn his back on him. And I've seen people leave out of church because some little something happened. Right. Oh, I, listen to this. This kind of attitude kills me. I've done this. I went to church. I paid my tithes. Like, it's always what I, I, I. But get that kind of stuff. You ain't got nothing. God's done it all. Amen. 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 What's the first thing to start with? Point the finger at God. Don't do that. Right. I don't like this happening. I never miss paying my tithes. See, you're wanting to get the glory. Yeah. God gets the glory for all of us. I told you about the gentleman that I talked to. His dad was a preacher who passed away a few years back. He said, I absolutely got mad at God. I said, shame on you. Instead of thanking God for all the years he had with him, get mad at God because he took it. And did you know if God didn't want you to, you would have five minutes to live here. Think about that. Could we pass that test? Bless him, Lord. You've heard about the Hebrew boys. How they stood for God. Man. Lord. They called on them. Our God is able. That's right. Here's the thing of it. They just say, our God's able. If he don't do it, well, we'll take another round and we'll do something else. Our God is able. But even if he does, That's right. we still ain't missing you, Bill. Right. I'm trying to get some attitudes in you towards the devil that will put him in his place. That's right. That's right. God did not stop it. Even at the furnace, right at the mouth of the furnace, the heat was so hot, when he opened the door, it flew the man that was standing there with him. And the boy still never back that, not for one night. What would you do? What did your furnace do? Amen. They were looking into the flames. The heat so bad, it flew the ones around them. Throw them completely into the flames. Oh, I hope you don't miss this. Amen. But when they went into flames, it never burned. The only thing it does was burn the roast off of them. Hallelujah. And set them free. Now they're in the middle of the flames. Praising God. Amen. Why? They ain't give up. Our God is able, well, even if he don't, we still, we still are not going to do anything else. Oh, I hope you're listening to me. Who was it, brother? Well, what done that? Somebody took the steam. Somebody took the burn out of that. I love the way my dad used to put that when he preached that message. He said, God just called for a streak of light and said, Come here. And he got on. Right the so when he went in, he just got the sting out of this side and put it under his feet. Got it out of this side and put it under his feet. When he opened the door, he said, Come on in, boys. I got an air condition. We'll just have a revival. Was that what was going on that night? Was it so hot? It killed the other man? And then the boys went in and had a revival? Say, you read that tonight? That God's going to burn this place. It won't burn you. I'm watching every preacher on television. Every one of them saying something's fixing to happen. They know it's going to happen. And every one of them said, it's going to get everybody but his bride. I'm saying the same thing. 
But I believe the only difference between me and them, I know who the bride is. I know who part of it is. They don't know who it is. They're blind and don't know that I have life. I know I got it because I've read it in the book. I know every promise in this book belongs to Elwood Gallimore. I know if a loved one mine went on today, I'm going to see it before the year's done. I'm not worried. I'm going to hold my head up high and sing it now. Praise God. Are you here? Amen. Let me read about these men of God here. He that had the seven spirits of God, the seven stars, in Revelation 3 and 1, as the same Lord identified himself with man in the incarnation, he is again identified himself with man by his spirit, within me. They are mine, saith the Lord. They don't belong to no organization. No man called them. As I said the other night, nobody didn't hire me, nobody can fire me. But we don't have to listen to you. That's true, but you, you just don't know where else to go, do you? If you leave here tonight, what would you get? Where would you find in this thing? Put it. Do you ever stop to think about that? That's a phrase. What would you find in this close to what you already believe? Right. He's got you here for a reason. He's working on TV arguing about a rapture. And that word's not even in the Bible. And that's why they're so confused on it. They have no idea how it's going to happen. And here they are hollering, but we know the bride has been caught up. Amen. You believe that? No, when the prophet come out, the eagle comes in. Come on up here. Come up among the clouds, eagles. That's where the eagles are at now. That's why this trash out here don't bother none of it. Amen. That's why I'm asking you, where else would you go if you didn't have this little place right here to worship God right now? Take the Lord in a minute. Even if you know some that heard the books of the prophet, they wouldn't touch what you're hearing right now. Amen. Why? My sheep. Know my voice. Amen. And a stranger they will not follow. Amen. These seven spirit filled messengers are the Lord. How many believe you got seven right now on there? They may be questioned. Indeed, the human minds, they may not even seem qualified. Have you heard that? He don't have no education. Bless you, Lord. We don't even consider him a fortune. But we're just scared to sit down with him. Why are they afraid to sit down with him? Amen. It ain't because he's in a denomination. That's true. It ain't because he's got money. Bless you, Lord. Think about it. Lord. It ain't because anybody else is standing with him right now. Amen. Other than the people he's preaching to. Amen. Lord, what are they afraid of? The word. Think about it. Indeed, to the human mind, nevertheless, they are the messengers for their age. God used Abraham, listen to this, he lied. He used Moses, he rebelled. How I many know he killed a man? In cold blood. That would have done it for most people. That man's a murderer. We're not following him. But he was God's prophet. The gifts and callings of God are without repentance. If God calls you to do a job, you're going to do it. He's going to say, now I'm going to take that now and give it to somebody else. If he calls you to do a job, you're going to do it. You're not going to start it and go part of the way. You're going to finish the job he put you here to do. But I believe with all my heart, God put me here to take the message of a prophet. Take part in that prophet. Meet the rest of them out here. And then we're all going into something. Yeah. You know where we're going? In a little while. Yeah. All these lodges around here, all the beer cans, all the cigarettes, all the dope is going to be ashes under the soles of your feet. Yeah. And you're going to walk out on the ashes of the women right out into the millennium. You're not going over that. I can't do it without my cigarette. You're not going over that. I can't do it without my dope. 
happy. Amen. Amen. He used a Jonah. He disobeyed. I hear preachers all the time on television. They say he backslid. The prophet said, "Don't you say that?" Right. He said he didn't backslide. He was just running from God. Amen. And you came run? I don't care where you get. Right. A Samson. He sinned. Stop and think about this man that I just mentioned. Called Samson. This woman, what was her name that went? The lava. Trying everyone to find out where his strength is at. And I can't remember, I could turn the Bible, but how many lies did this man of God tell her? <laughs> Have you thought about it? How he was certain kinds of ropes and doing different things? And she do what he said. He lied to the woman. Man. Then when you told her the truth, is when you got in trouble. Right. Right. Have you ever thought about that? Amen. There would have been something for somebody to judge. Amen. Oh, he caught a lie. God ain't with it. And soon as she done what he said, which was a lie, he'd stand up and break the ropes. Yes. Didn't matter what she done. And I want to ask you something. Where was this man at? When they gathered around the city and locked the gates. What was he with? Huh? A holiday. Most people say, they and there's a holiday. Ain't no use in it. But he's gone now. <coughs> When they thought they had him surrounded, he comes out, picks the gates up. Yeah. Post and all the way tons. Think about that. People on television pick something, make a, what they call the hulk. Trying to make them look like something. This wasn't no Hollywood show. Pick them up, put them up on his shoulders, and crawl on top of the hill, say, God was still with him. But one day he made a mistake. He finally told him where his strength was at. And when she woke him up, his locks was gone. He shook his leg. God didn't answer. Why did what was God told him? Don't ever make a raise with your healing. Amen. Think about this. Who ended up getting him? That woman. That he lied and he lied and he lied and he lied. Abraham. Moses. Did Abraham lie? Amen. He lied to a man and the man got in trouble. That's right. In trouble with God. That's right. Said, did not he tell me? God said, I know what he told me, but that man's my prophet. Amen. In other words, I don't care if he did tell a lie. He's my prophet. Yeah. I called him to do a job, and I don't care if he tells ten more lies before he gets out of your home. I put him here to do a job. He's going to do the job. Yeah. Because it ain't the man. It's the God in the man that's doing the job. But that wasn't enough, was it? For most people. Bless him, Lord. He used the David. He murdered. Right. Had a man killed. Yeah. What did they have a man killed for? So what? So he could take his wife. Yeah. So he could have his wife. Yeah. Yeah. Was he lost? <laughs> I hope you listen to what I'm telling you. God's done something to us that we can never do for ourselves. Amen. Every person sitting here is full of mistakes, but if he calls you and puts your name in the book, you cannot be lost. That's the point I'm trying to get over to you here. I don't care what you do. You're going to pay in this body before you leave here. Amen. You're not going to open that and pay for what you've done. Brother Robert, when we get
get old, that it's over. Amen. And when I ride down through town here now, or get out and look around my house, how's it going to be when there ain't nothing just around here? Amen. Nothing but beautiful green grass. Amen. No grass around anymore. Amen. No jail around anymore. Amen. 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 It's so close, I'm just ready to step over in any time. Are you a believer? Yeah. <laughs> All right. He also used a Joshua and a Joseph. <laughs> now, do you believe that spirit here now? Yeah. You believe the spirit of Joshua is here? Amen. To do what? Take the bride across. Yeah. I believe. Not calling no, no land, Joshua. That's the spirit you know. Right now. Yeah. 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 The prophet said, look at Moses. He brought the people up. Let them even look and see what it was like. But God wouldn't let him take them over. He said, Moses, you done your part. You got them up here. You got them in the right direction. Now come on up. Amen. Now stand up, Joshua. Amen. Take them on to the promised land. Amen. You believe that prophet fight that out right to left? Did he come up here and let you look right straight before you come on? Everyone! Stand up, seven thunder. Learn that spirit that's in the land right now. Come on, Joshua, let's all go. Joshua here. I mean, we say that Joseph, all right. Amen. 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 Severe blemishes far outnumber those whose history seemed to be perfect. All were and are his. None dare to deny that. He used them by and through the Holy Spirit that he put within them. To their own master, they stood or failed. They don't have to answer to no man. No denomination. Right. Amen. Only word, only master they have is this word that I'm saying. Do you know of any, any word around? Amen. I thought about this real strong the other night after I heard some of them talking outside. If we wasn't coming here, if you something happened to you today, we wouldn't go anywhere else. That's right. That's right. Amen. You think God don't know that? Yeah. Amen. How even? Now this is the human thing. And I've even sat around and thought, Lord, I'm getting some age on me. What if something did happen and I went on? And I think about this group right here. I said, who is going to take them on? I don't think i got nothing more to do. I believe I know who's going to make this on. So he's the one going to do it. But he chose somebody to do this. And I promise you, he chose somebody with a backbone like this. They won't give to the right on. And God's done proved that right here. There's a bunch around here that love to get people and sit down with them and try to make them look more stupid. Amen. And they dare to sit down with one man. Why is that? Satan knows where to stop that. He knows when he's getting in trouble. That's right. And in them all was accomplished the sovereign will of God. Let eternal history attempt to refute this. It still stands. Amen. Every time God changes. And I've heard people, oh, you know that elder. You remember, you remember, you remember, you remember. I didn't, you remember. I don't know what nobody says. Amen. Even 
in my lowest times of my life. Praise God. My name is in that book. Everything I ever done wrong, when I was nailed to the cross, and he was nailed to it. Amen. 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 And Satan wants every one of us here to think, oh, you've done this and you've done that, and you're full of mistakes, you can't make it, but I'm here to tell you, you've made it. Amen. 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 Some come to my mind, I've got time, I've got five minutes, but I had a whole lot more. Do you know love him? Amen. Lord. Lord. Bless him, Lord. I find it here in a minute, I hope. Right back here, I went here several times. Somebody right now needs to hear what I'm fixing to read. Bless him, Lord. That's a lot I can say. If you're God, you'll never be judged. That's why. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Page 69. I'm going to start right at the top of the page. Then when the inspector is satisfied, he shuts the door. And the inspector places a seal upon it, and then no one can break this seal until it reaches its Destination. That's right. We're almost there. Amen. 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 All down through the year, brother, there every mistake we make. God You see my mistakes, I see some of yours, but God never seen any of Thank 
What is that? Do things that please Him. Because if you don't, you grieve Him. But you still can't be lost. That ought to bring every person to God. A seal signifies. Now, this is the words I got from the dictionary. It signifies a finished work. And when the seventh seal, he didn't say seven seals, but when the seventh seal is broken, the mystery of God that's sealed in these mysterious seals is finished. Until the day that seal is broken, and then it's revealed what's on the inside. Amen. Has it been revealed here? Now go back to the statements I've been making the last seven weeks. I'm not making altar calls. God put me up here to make a road call. And when I preach this word, and you can wave that little hand and say, that ain't nothing but the truth. When you know you have that Holy Spirit that I'm talking about, when you can take every word God said and not leave none of it out. Thank you. 